All right, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. We'll get this started at 6 p.m. Can I get a roll call, please? Yep. <clears throat> Resolution 243, approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Resolve that the minutes of September 6, 2018 be approved and the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. Is there a motion? So moved. Tostic, is there a second? Seconded. Uh, Hebert, any discussion? See none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Carrie. Is there any public comment this evening? I've got my uh, um, as you know, um, the Clinton Community College kicked off their mm -hmm. Center for Governance mm -hmm. on Tuesday evening. Good deal. And um, with by asking Dr. Or Mr. Freeman, mm -hmm. Robert Freeman, to come and speak, and it's unfortunate that everybody on the board wasn't there. Yeah. And a conflict in. That's okay. Work. It's unfortunate you couldn't be there because during the question and answer period, um, Mr. Freeman was asked about committees. Mm -hmm. And um, it was something that I'm interested in mm -hmm. because a few weeks ago, Mr. Cashman told me that the work of the board is done in committee. So um, Mr. Freeman explained that there are committees which fall under open meetings law and other committees which do not fall under open meetings law. But the town committees, which were appointed in January, on January 11th, do fall under the open meetings law. And therefore, they have to notify the public when they are going to be meeting. Now, <clears throat> is it enough to slap a notice on a board, a bulletin board, hidden behind a, a pillar with 150,000 other pages flapping in the wind? Is that sufficient notice to tell the public that there is a meeting of a committee. Well, I purposely asked Mr. Freeman if he would speak to how notices, the noticing requirements of the committee. And he said, one, public bodies, doing the work of public bodies in committee, have to, one, address the news media, call the news media, go to the news media, send a note to the news media. Does the news media have to print? No. But they have to be notified about it. And second of all, the law states that postings have to be in a conspicuous place. What does conspicuous mean? It means prominent. It means noticeable. I notice on the door it says, no smoking, no vaping here. Why did you put it on the door? You want people to notice it. You want it to be in a prominent place. You want it to be conspicuous. Is vaping more important than a town meeting, a committee meeting, which should be open to the public? So the public can be there if they want to be there? I don't think it is. Maybe you folks do. He also said that <clears throat> this should be posted on the website. I've never seen posting of any committee of the town board posted on the website. In fact, I got your calendar. Post some, uh, meetings of the legislature, the county legislature. It does not post anywhere your committee meetings. So, I am here tonight to ask you to consider learning about the Open Meetings Law, if you don't know about it already. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. And then, be compliant with it. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I do want to respond, and typically it's not an interactive thing, but because you come weekly, I think you're owed this response. Um, Thank you, first of all, for attending. 
Um, I consider you as a, an active and concerned citizen that helps us become better as a body. Uh, I mean that sincerely. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know that the town of Plattsburgh has had a committee structure for a, a long... Many years for, because for, there's a book in the clerk's office. Correct. Office. Many years. Uh, and when I became supervisor, I immediately knew that a committee of two, uh, mm -hmm. through going through training, mm -hmm. um, there, there needed to be some cataloging of it. Mm -hmm. We can very easily make that adjustment. Um, and that's why, you know, when I went to Bob Freeman's presentation, you know, you learn something new. Um, sure. So it's an easy adjustment. Sure. Now, I, I do want to say that you, you might take a look at the, um, the, uh, Legislative uh, web page. Yeah, I, 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 they have oh, meet, upcoming meetings, yeah. and they and for a month they have, because yeah. they do their work in in committees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and in large part, you know, uh, the work uh, gets reflected, and a lot of the um, department head, you know, reports will say met with committee members and stuff, and it's the same report that they're going over. So. Mm -hmm. But point taken, um, again, we appreciate don't, that. We don't do uh, that type of things the same way the county legislature does in committees. No, it's um, not It's not pre-approved and, uh, and, and, and things when it gets to the floor. And uh, our difficulty in uh, scheduling committees is uh, work schedules are departments and department heads who may or may not be available on a particular day and uh, can change depending on the weather. And so it's very difficult to uh, do that. I do not think it's an easy thing to just change it over. It, it's there. There are tools and mechanisms that I'm committed to continue to bring forward so that we are in compliance with open meeting law, whether we like certain things or not. Um, uh, you know, one might have said, being from Massachusetts, that I don't like driving a certain speed, um, <laughs> but you drive the you, know, <laughs> you drive the uh, the speed limit type of thing. Um, you know, we may not be able to put out a master calendar of all of our dates um, because of the dynamic needs. You just do it on a weekly basis, a but, monthly basis. But we can certainly uh, have a website that provides a certain level of dynamic um, opportunity to post it. And, you know, Deborah can very easily forward it to Press Republican, our noted newspaper. Whether or not they run it is a different story. So. Um, Let's not get marred down in the um, uh, the angst of what can't be. Um, I, I would argue we're already doing more than we did before, but we must do more. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm open to that, and then we can we can achieve it. So I think the intent of the yeah. open meeting law is that the deliberative process yeah. comes is before the public. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If it was just you know how much come in here vote end of story, yeah. there would be no you know Absolutely. no need for an open meeting. Yeah. And I, I agree with Michael that as you know, I was there. It you was enlightening. There. It was a mm -hmm. tremendous mm -hmm. yes. presentation. Yeah. Uh, and I certainly think we can do a much better job than what we're doing mm -hmm. right well, now. I, I, I would give everybody the benefit of the doubt in saying that, you know, each one of you has been, well, not you, has been appointed. You were appointed. You were appointed. You may not have known what the law was or how mm -hmm. it works or what mm -hmm. it's supposed to but like I said, you know, ignorance of the law is no excuse, and it's incumbent on each one of you to know exactly how it's supposed to work and, and see to it that the town abides by the law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I think we're for improvement. I think, I think we've done Absolutely. our best, obviously, to try to make sure that we post it, mm -hmm. maybe not conspicuously dead, but <laughs> to, to do what I was aware of where they were being posted. In terms yeah. of. Right, and they were. I mean, I was told 72 hours they have to be stuck yeah. on the board, but, mm -hmm. you know, stuck on the board and is vaping. I mean, there's a sign out there, you're going to be closed on Monday. Why did you put it on the door? Because you want people to see it. Uh, and, and that's what I say. I mean, well, and, and truth be told is a lot more people check websites than they'll check the door. Indeed. I mean, so there's... But you have to come here to check the door. Right, exactly. So mm -hmm. there's there's room for improvement. Mm -hmm. I would anticipate, yeah. um, you know, sooner rather than later that we'll be able to address some of those things. In all honesty, I mean, and this is and this isn't a shot at uh, a camel or, or anybody, um, we don't we don't update update our websites directly anymore. You know, or no, we no. don't do it. You know what I mean? So to have that ability, um, 
you know, with, an, with a dynamic calendar where you could put on a calendar where all the notices are could be a lot more easy to manage. So there's yeah. different ways to do it. I, I don't want to, this no, isn't meant for aren't discussion. Aren't you considering some new IT stuff going on and stuff? So it, it's, it, doesn't fall, it doesn't fall under that. It's okay. more of the general services of making sure we have antivirus and... Yeah, well, that's necessary. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, thank thank you. you for bringing that to me, though. And I anticipated exactly where you were going. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, you know, it's funny that the meeting turned into, went there. From libraries to, you know. Yep. Mm -hmm. We covered the waterfront. You did. So. All right. Uh, moving forward, uh, resolution 244, the abstract 10A-18. I resolve that the abstract of other claims number 10A-18, 2022 to 2139. For two hundred twenty-four thousand six hundred and seventy-five dollars and thirty-nine cents, an abstract ten A has eighteen A, three forty-eight to three seventy-five prepays in the amount of nine hundred and thirty-two thousand eighty-six dollars and fifty-eight cents be received as reviewed by the audit committee. And the supervisors hereby authorized to pay said abstract. Is there a motion? <coughs> so moved. Keeper, is there a second? Second. Fantastic. Any discussion? None. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Is that an aye there, Tom? Aye. Okay. <laughs> Carried. Resolution 245, setting a public hearing for certain elected official salaries and the 2019 preliminary budget. Whereas the public notice for a preliminary budget and certain elected official salaries must be shared. Now, therefore, be resolved a notice of hearing entitled Setting a Public Hearing for Elected Officials' Salaries and the 2019 Preliminary Budget shall be published once in a newspaper, local newspaper, and posted on the town hall as indicated. Notice is hereby given that the preliminary budget of the town of Plattsburgh for the year beginning January 1, 2019 will be compiled and filed in the office of the town clerk on or before October 31, 2018. <coughs> Further notice is hereby given that the Town Board, Town of Plattsburgh, will meet and review the said preliminary budget and hold a public hearing thereon at the Town Hall located at Baker Road in the Town of Plattsburgh, Clinton County, New York, on Thursday, November 8, 2018, at 6.05 p.m. prevailing time. At such time, the hearing any persons may be heard in favor or against the preliminary budget as compiled, or for or against any items as indicated therein contained. And the town uh, council person, four positions, town clerk, supervisor, highway superintendent. A copy of the preliminary budget is available for inspection by all interested parties at the town hall on the Baker Road between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Um, I just want to make sure that this was articulated uh, largely because that's what the, this resolution is meant for. The salaries for the following individuals uh, to remain uh, council persons, there are four of them, would be $13,000 each. The supervisor's salary will remain the same again at $69,000. The town clerk is a representative of a 2.5% increase at $31,902. And the highway superintendent, $77,400. And four hundred and forty-seven uh, dollars at two point five percent increase um, has been customary. Uh, so I just want to make sure that was reflected. Is there a motion to the effect? So, Bostic, uh, Hebert, any uh, additional comments? I will just add that we will be having our uh, workshop on October thirteenth. I actually do enjoy having you here, Debbie. October <laughs> <laughs> 13th for me. You're like, you're like a palm pilot. Um, 13th, uh, starting at 8 o'clock, um, we will have our departments coming in, making presentations. Um, I do believe it's approximately the span is between 8 to 4. We've been able to wrap up, though, between noon and 1 o'clock, usually. Mm -hmm. the so it gives us some flexibility. Uh, the public is welcome and encouraged to attend. Uh, it's the nuts and bolts of um, their budget, and we use zero based budgeting. So, all right. Is there anything additional? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So it's carried. Resolution 246, 3% site plan return deposits for Schluter Systems, 
slash UMS Properties Warehouse Additional Site Plan 2016. Whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Planning and Community Development Board has reviewed and approved all requirements of Sluter Systems UMS Properties Warehouse Addition Site Plan 2016. Whereas the Planning and Community Development Department has coordinated inspections of said project and reports all requirements have been met and completed. Now therefore be resolved, the supervisor is hereby authorized and directed to release of the said deposit in the amount of $2,467.71 plus accrued interest to date. And to be further resolved, or a certified copy of this resolution be forwarded by the Planning Community Development Department Secretary with a return of the deposit to Luck Brothers Incorporated. Uh, is there a motion? So, uh, Wood, is there a second? Seconded. Keeper. And I'm just going to add that uh, it should be stricken. It's not the plan, uh, planning and community development board, just the planning board. So, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So, this resolution 247, 3% site plan return deposit for Knight Automotive, site plan 2017. As the Town of Plattsburgh Planning and Community Development Board has reviewed and approved all requirements of Knight Automotive site plan 2017, whereas the Planning and Community Development Department has reported a request to rescind this site plan approval <coughs> by the applicant. Now, therefore, be resolved, the supervisor is hereby authorized and directed to the release of said deposit of $650 plus accrued interest to date, and it be further resolved that a certified copy of this resolution be forwarded by the Planning and Community Development Secretary with the return of deposit to the Nate Automotive. It is her motion. So moved. Hebert, is there a second? Second. Wood, uh, again, just for discussion, yeah. strict okay. community development. We're using an autofill that is punctuating off that, I think. All right, uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Carrie. Resolution uh, 248, Infrastructure at the Old County <coughs> Airport. Whereas Clinton County Airport ceased operation and relocated to the former Plattsburgh Air Force Base in June 2007. Whereas the former airport Airport is comprised of approximately 600 acres of land, majority of which has potential for redevelopment. And whereas in compliance with the town's 2010 comprehensive plan, the town did rezone the former airport to allow for and promote innovative place-based technology and manufacturing sectors and mixed-use development while preserving the Saranac River waterfront. And whereas in July 2017, the town did adopt the Town of Plattsburgh Economic Development Strategy Plan, here in action priority number two, recommends development of the former Clinton County Airport for specific recommends working with the development corporation to do so. And whereas in 2015, the town sought a consolidated funding application and local government efficiency program and for state development, <laughs> and the town wished to undertake a comprehensive review of the options pertaining to delivery of services at the former Clinton County Airport property. And whereas in 2016, the town of Plattsburgh, in partnership with Clinton County and the Development Corporation, had a comprehensive document prepared titled Infrastructure Evaluation Concept Development Plan for Redevelopment of the former Clinton County Airport. And we're asked the infrastructure evaluation and concept development planning for redevelopment of the Clinton County Airport report did study and evaluate and make recommendations for redevelopment of the former airport site in consideration of water, sewer, traffic, and other necessary infrastructure. And whereas the town of Plattsburgh has made investments in study and development in the site and will contribute to the region's tax toll. We will continue to prioritize infrastructure, collaborate by using public partnership. And whereas Clinton County Legislature is committing $500,000 to the Development Corporation and $250,000 to development infrastructure using the 2016 Infrastructure Evaluation Concept Plan for Redevelopment of the former Clinton County Airport and Clinton County. 
I therefore be resolved that the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board does authorize a partnership with Clinton County, the Clinton County Development Corporation, committing a town share not to exceed $250,000 to expand infrastructure at the old Clinton County Airport and condition of matching funds be secured. Is yes, there a motion? So moved. What? Is there a second? Second. Fantastic. I just want to go over a couple of minor corrections just mm -hmm. so people mm -hmm. understand it. And the, I believe it was fourth. the first, uh, yeah, the fourth, whereas with the date it was July 2013, 13. not 17. Uh, the other part to it is, uh, where was it? Or I'm just going to reiterate it instead just to make sure. Clinton County Legislator is committing $500,000 and the Development Corporation is committing their own share of $250,000. Lead agency uh, would be Clinton County. Okay, so, um, and our share would be up to $250,000, and the idea is to work on infrastructure development at the Old County Airport site. Okay, so, all right. Any other further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 And so does Gary. Uh, resolution 249. Whereas North Country Life Flight Incorporated is a nonprofit tax exempt corporation which is responsible for all aspects of patient care by providing medical equipment, trained personnel, medical trained personnel, and administering the medical portion utilizing New York State Police helicopter based in Saranac Lake and private fixed wing aircraft resources. Whereas New York State Police and private fixed wing aviation resources do not provide medically trained team or medical equipment for patient transport. And whereas the people of Clinton, Essex, Franklin, Hamilton, and St. Lawrence counties receive vital emergency medical service, which is free of charge to critically ill and serious injured patients. And therefore, municipal governments are asked to pledge monies for a worthwhile program. Now therefore be resolved the town board, town of Plaster, hereby authorizes a supervisor to enter into the contract with New York, with North Country Life Flight Incorporated for the purpose of operation of medical component of the Medivac program, which will serve its residents and visitors for the amount of $1,500, which represents the town's share for 2019. And it be further resolved that the sum of $1,500 shall be charged to the Community Services Fund account for the 2018 budget, or should that be 19? 19. 19. Thank you. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Costa, is there a second? Second. Weber, any discussion? Uh, this is something that we've been doing for a long time, and there's a lot of value to this. Uh, we know some folks in our region certainly, uh, or residents, I should say, have had to use the service. So. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, I'm going to use uh, Chair's privilege just to ask a question of you. Um, because I got in the back of my head rolling around how we can, uh -oh. uh, well, uh, better address the, um, the posting part of it. Knowing that you keep a website, um, I'm, I'm curious. I, I don't think you have any formal training, or you, Rocky doesn't have any formal training yet. Is it simple enough that Ricky could learn uh, something like that as the clerk? Because our town clerk really is, you know, he's the official, you know, gatekeeper, record keeper. Um, if we were to create a simple landing page for notices, I don't think it's very hard. Okay. So, I'm just, uh, again, I'm. I'm trying to think of, because if we Depending, get some... I mean, I, I'm i like that much with a computer. Yeah. But my husband's a computer nerd, so, yeah. you know. And he's walked me through a few things. It's not that hard. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm not, because I'm not saying that Ricky takes over the whole web page, you know, like website for the town of Plattsburgh, but if there was one landing page where he could put notices up, no you know, um, it might be extremely helpful. Uh, from that standpoint, mm -hmm. so you know what I mean. If my mother who's 94 can kind of do it, I think Rick could do it. <laughs> okay. So some, something to explore. I'm not putting it on your shoulders, Rick. I'm just trying to think of, 
you know, because it's not it's, difficult. It's a central depending on what you choose for your right. your landing page. Right. And, you know, because it, the, it, says, it goes to, to the town clerk. Right, because it, it has to the notice has to go to the town clerk to be posted and stamped in any ways. The notice in reality, you're the one that needs to send it to the the press uh, as it is. Mm -hmm. um, so if we could just do the Trinity of, of you know of all that information. So it looks for okay. how many how many days does it take for the press to do well, the, 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 as Debbie and I had, had learned, though, is they don't have to run it. What you have to do is you have to provide the notice. And it so, doesn't have to be a legal ad. Correct. It could be in correct. the... Of uh, interest. Community. Yeah, of interest, yeah. you know, so that it yeah. doesn't cost money. Correct. Yeah. And... Uh, so, more, more to come. Thank you. And that. it depends on how far out the meeting is, is uh, established. Mm -hmm. I understand... Some department heads have told me that it's just kind of always the same on Tuesday, the second Tuesday of the month at 10 o'clock a.m. And a, an email is sent to them uh, saying, don't forget, it's yep. coming up. So yep. that would be one where it would definitely have to go to the newspaper, whether they print or not. Right. Um, all right. Thank you for that. With uh, all of that in mind, uh, can I get a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting? So moved. Uh, Ebert, is there a second? Foster, is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 We will adjourn at 6.24 p.m. with no executive session.